أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وبارك وسلم السلام عليكم dear students welcome to principles of business uh, finance subject inshallah in our today's lecture we'll have chapter number four and chapter number four is about financial markets and financial securities but today we'll have discussion mainly on financial markets and inshallah in our upcoming lecture we'll have discussion on the financial securities so let's begin with our today's topic which is financial market what is financial market financial market is basically a market where financial instruments are issued and traded a market where financial instruments are issued and traded so what is a market basically market is a place where buyer and seller purchase product or we can say there is an exchange between buyer and seller exchange of product and services between the buyer and seller with a price so it means that wherever there are uh, three uh, uh, elements combined that place becomes a market so what are those three things three things are basically the buyer and seller the product and the price and each market's name is determined by the product uh, exchanged between the buyer and seller there so financial market in the financial market the product of the financial market is is uh, is basically financial instrument and that's why this market is called financial market so we can simply say it's a market and that this market could be uh, uh, physical it could be online it could be virtual it could be electronic it could be digital it 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 it, it, it could be um, anywhere where buyer and seller exchange the product for a price so that becomes a market when it comes to financial market the product of the market is financial security or financial instrument that's why this market is called financial market so in once again we can say a market where financial instruments are issued and traded that market is called financial market here there are uh, basically few things that uh, uh, we will we will discuss later on <clears throat> for example uh, uh, here the first thing is market and I, I explain what market means then we have financial instrument we'll have discussion on the financial instrument later on as well and there is a word issued and the word traded these two words ha words have uh, different uh, uh, objectives here and uh, uh, different meaning so we'll discuss them uh, later on as well for the time being just keep in mind that um, we have to discuss financial instruments what is meant by issuing of financial instrument and what is meant by the trading of financial instrument on the financial market basically in this one line definition uh, uh, there is uh, uh, a lot about the financial market itself in this one line definition that we will discuss inshallah later on so let's now talk about the elements of financial market any market has three elements and similarly a financial market also has three elements the first element of the financial market is buyer and seller okay so who could be the buyer and seller on the financial market the buyer could be investors and the sellers could be uh, 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 borrowers means people who are in need of money they sell the financial instruments and people who have excess of money or extra money they buy the financial instruments and people who are in need of money they sell the financial instruments so by buyer we mean the investors and by seller we mean the borrowers uh, or uh, debtors or creditors right so buyer and seller are uh, the first element of the financial market financial instruments financial instruments are basically um, uh, piece of paper 
basically their piece of paper or we can say agreement between two parties uh, which has uh, f a financial value or monetary value and has a maturity period uh, so that uh, and, uh, is accepted uh, widely on the market uh, as as means of financing or can be uh, traded on the financial market when when we say traded by uh, on the financial market it means that it is uh, bought and sold by the buyer and sellers which i have earlier explained the buyer or the investors and the sellers could be people who are in need of money right so basically financial instruments or piece of paper uh, which could be uh, which 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 has specific value and specific time or maturity uh, and uh, the parties who uh, promise uh, are also well known and this financial in instrument is uh, accepted widely as means of financing or as means of investing uh, on that particular market and that is called financial instrument the financial instrument uh, must have the price and the price of the financial instrument is basically the value of the uh, uh, of the financial instrument that value could be written on the face of that and the price uh, uh, of uh, of the financial instrument could be more than the face value or could be less than the face value so basically uh, the price is uh, the value of the uh, financial market uh, as per the market i mean uh, the value as per that the financial instrument is bought or sold on the financial market that is basically the price of the financial instrument right now let's talk about the financial instrument it's uh, once again here explained a document that has a monetary value and represents a, a legal agreement uh, agreement between two or more parties here what we uh, mean by legal agreement between two or more parties is that the promise given or taken by two or more parties and those two parties should be buyer and seller could be the, those two parties could be issuer and the uh, uh, purchaser or we can say the buyer or we can say the investor right so basically uh, most of the times the uh, the financial uh, uh, instrument there are two parties and they have a legal agreement to buy or sell uh, for a specific time period or on a specific value but there could be three parties as well some financial instruments there are three parties right so we will later on discuss what are those financial instruments where there are two parties and what are the financial instruments where, uh, where there are three parties right but what we have to remember is financial instrument is a document that's number one thing and this document has a monetary value that's number two thing and number three thing is that it represents a legal agreement between two or more parties and number fourth thing we can say that could be uh, widely accepted uh, widely accepted accepted right as means of financing or investing right by the buyers or sellers so that's basically uh, uh, four character characteristics of the financial instrument we discussed here number one it's a document number two it's a, it has a monetary value number three it's it's a legal agreement between two or more parties and number four it's widely accepted as means of financing or investment by the buyer and seller right okay so that's uh, about the financial market and financial instrument now let's go ahead <clears throat> financial instruments types so there are sorry financial market types there are two types of financial markets right number one is money market number two is capital market 
so money market is basically that financial market where short-term financial securities and long-term securities whose remaining maturity is less than a year are traded okay so uh, there are uh, a few uh, concepts that we uh, would discuss before understanding what uh, money market is and how it works so the first one is uh, money market is a financial market where short term where short term financial securities right so here we say short term financial securities and long term financial securities whose remaining maturity is less than one year are issued and traded okay now uh, once again we have to go back uh, to the previous slide in order to understand this one previously uh, we said that financial market is basically a market where financial instruments are issued and traded we said issued and traded right remember issued and traded and then we said financial uh, 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 security or financial instruments. We said that financial instrument is basically a document which has a monetary value and um, is a legal agreement between two or more parties. And then we had it's widely accepted as means of financing or investment. And fifth thing there was that um, it has a maturity period, right? So, looking at the maturity period, we divide the financial securities into short term and long term, right? So, short term financial securities are those financial securities whose maturity period or uh, whose period uh, for returning or buying back uh, is less than one year that is called short-term financial security and long-term financial security is that financial security uh, whose uh, maturity is more than one year means the agreement between two parties is for more than one year if the agreement between two parties is less than one year that becomes short-term financial security but if the agreement between the parties between the buyer and seller is for more than one uh, year that becomes the uh, long-term financial security so on the f uh, money market on the money financial market or on the money market only and only those financial first of all only short-term financial securities are issued and traded and secondly those long-term financial securities whose remaining maturity is less than one year what does it mean it means if a long-term financial security is for five years and now uh, four years and uh, three months have passed on that financial security now here the remaining maturity is how much the remaining matu maturity is nine months so after nine months the security will be mature means uh, uh, the the original owner of the security uh, has to buy back uh, this financial security uh, from whoever uh, presents uh, to him so the remaining maturity is less than one year that's why this financial security will also be traded on the money market remember long-term financial security whose remaining maturity is less than one year was issued on the uh, capital market but but as its remaining maturity is less than one year that's why it is traded only and only traded on the money market so what is what is the difference between issue and trade we say issuance of the financial securities when the financial securities are for the first time uh, sold by the uh, companies uh, by the owner uh, on the on the uh, um, uh, investor or maybe on the buyer so that first time transaction between the buyer and seller uh, for for selling out the financial security that's called issuance of the financial security right so when that financial security is sold out by the buyer to the other buyer that becomes trade now usually 
the companies who are in need of money they issue uh, short term financial security means they sell it out on the investors uh, for a period of less of a starting from one day to less than a year so uh, uh, then the people who purchase that short term financial security basically when they are in need of money they can sell it out on the financial market on the money market to anyone who is interested in buying that financial security for example if that financial security was purchased on uh, 10000 afghani and it will uh, mature in 9 months but the the buyer has uh, has it and, and now after one month he is in need of money uh, now he cannot wait for uh, 9 months to get 10000 from the original uh, issuer of the financial security so he can uh, uh, sell it out this security on the money market to anyone who is in interested in buying on a low rate for example this 10000 financial security could be uh, sold out by this buyer uh, on to another buyer by 9500 and uh, the person who is in need of money he can get benefit of, of uh, 9500 in short term uh, after a short period of time and the person who can wait uh, until nine months means the new buyer of this financial security he will wait for nine months and after nine months he will get ten thousand so he has a benefit of five uh, uh, five hundred of gunnies uh, if he waits for nine months if that second buyer also uh, 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 is in need of money after some time he can again sell the security on to someone else who is willing to buy this financial security maybe this security is sold for more than 10000 or maybe for less than 9500 it depends on uh, on the uh, uh, market price on the demand of that financial security on the market right so we can either uh, the purchaser of this uh, security can either uh, uh, earn uh, i mean from the sales difference or maybe uh, he can lose due to the sales uh, price difference right but at least he can uh, cash out his uh, uh, money uh, uh, as quickly as possible uh, due to availability of the market of that security right so that is basically the money market so once again we say money market is a financial market where short-term financial security by short-term financial security we mean any financial security whose maturity period is less than one year and long-term financial security whose remaining maturity is less than one year so long-term financial security is basically a financial security whose maturity is maturity period is, is for more than one year so that becomes long term but on the money market only those financial securities whose remaining maturity is less than one year as i earlier explained in the example can be traded remember that on the money market the sh only and only short term financial securities can be issued long term financial securities cannot be issued on the money market right uh, but long term financial security only those long term financial securities whose remaining maturity is less than one year can be traded but short term financial securities can be issued and traded as well both it's possible next we have capital market so capital market is also a financial market but that financial market where long term financial securities are traded so <clears throat> by long term financial security we mean any security any security whose maturity period is for more than one year whose maturity period is for more than one year that is called long-term financial security remember that on the capital market only and only long-term financial security can be issued and traded and earlier i explained the difference between the issuance of the financial security and trading of the financial security issuance means when first time a financial security is sold out to the buyer uh, by the companies or by the businesses that's called issue and trade means that the purchasers or the buyers of that financial security further sell it out that financial security onto someone else uh, uh, maybe for the capital gain purposes or maybe in order to cash out their money uh, second hand or third hand and fourth hand transactions 
uh, of that uh, buy buy or uh, buying and selling of that financial security that is called trade of the financial security right okay as previously i discussed that um uh, financial on we have two types of financial markets money market and capital market this division is based on the short term and long term financial securities right but in the definition of the financial market we studied uh, two things we said financial securities are issued and traded so wherever whenever a financial security is issued we call that market primary market which means that each financial if market is further divided into two categories one is called primary and the second is called secondary so in capital mon in money market we have primary money market and secondary money market also in the uh, capital market we have primary capital market and secondary capital market Prim primary market is divided into primary money market and primary capital market and secondary money market is divided into secondary money market and secondary capital market so once again we say the division of basically the financial market into money market and capital market is based on the short term financial security and the long term financial security then each market is further divided into two categories which is primary market and secondary market which means that money market has for, uh, has further two categories which is primary money market and secondary money market and similarly capital market also has further two types which is called primary capital market and secondary capital market remember in the definition of the financial market we studied that a market where financial securities are issued so when the financial securities are issued that market is called primary market for example if this finance financial security is a short term financial security and it's being issued for the first time that uh, uh, market where this short term financial financial security is issued for the first time that will be called primary money market why because it's a short term security and it is issued for the first time as it is a short term financial security we call it money market as it is issued for the first time we call it primary so primary money market in simple words we can say primary money market is a it's a money market where uh, short term financial securities are issued okay what what is secondary money market secondary means that the short term financial security is traded when we trade when we trade when we trade the financial security trade means selling onto someone else for the second time third time uh, of the uh, of the financial security and that financial security is short term and those long term financial securities whose remaining maturity is less than one year that is called secondary money market so in simple words we can say in secondary money market the short term financial securities are traded and those long term financial securities whose remaining maturity is less than one year are also traded on the secondary money market when the word secondary comes with the market so there their trade will happen issuance happens on the primary market trade happens on the secondary market now we have two other categories for the capital market as well we said capital market is a market where uh, long term financial securities are issued and traded when we say issue it is the primary capital market when the security is long term and their first time issued that market will be called primary capital market when the financial security is long term and it is traded further on to second and third hand that will become secondary capital market all right okay so in this slide we discussed that uh, there are two types of financial markets the first one is called money market the second one is called capital market money market is for the short term financial securities and long term financial securities with remaining uh, maturity less than one year they are issued and traded they are issued in the primary money market while they are traded on the secondary money market remember in the money market only short term financial securities can can be issued 
and that is issued on the primary money market okay uh, in the secondary money market the short term and the long term securities whose remaining maturity is less than one year can only be traded right now we have the capital market capital market is for those financial securities which are long term long term means which are for more than one year when they are issued for the first time that market is called primary capital market when they are traded for the second time and third time that is called secondary capital market i hope it's clear uh, to everyone inshallah okay let's go ahead okay here we have a comparison uh, of the money market and capital market uh, which which are basically both uh, financial markets uh, both of them are uh, the financial markets both of uh, these uh, money market and capital market uh, both of them are uh, financial markets right money market is also a financial market and capital market is also a financial market okay uh, money market is also financial market and capital market is also financial markets these both are basically two types of financial markets uh, we discussed that on the money market uh, we can trade the uh, short term financial instruments and on the capital market we can trade the long term financial instruments so let's have a discussion let's have a discussion on uh, how they are different in one another so in order to understand the difference we have uh, four feature uh, five features that's number one this is number two this is number three this is number four and this is number five based on these five characteristics or based on these five features we can differentiate money market from the capital market right so let's uh, concise it let's make it short the first feature based on which we can differentiate the money market from the capital market is a uh, term of circulation of the security traded or we can say maturity period maturity period right so on the money market short-term financial instruments are issued and traded short-term financial instruments are issued and traded issued and traded and I have explained what's the difference between issue and trade when financial securities for the first time sold that's called issue when it's second time third time uh, sold and purchased by the uh, second and third person that becomes the trade right so short-term fund security is basically that financial security whose maturity is less than one year whose maturity period is less than one year means who will mature in less than one year by less than one year means from one day to um, 360 days or maybe uh, less than 300 days or 360 days that is called less than one year maturity period on the capital market we usually have long-term financial instruments and long-term financial instruments are those financial instruments whose maturity period is for more than one year more than one year means 13 12 months 12 months into 60 60 uh, 60 months 70 months right uh, 90 months or maybe more than that one year two year three year five year ten years 60 years like its ending period is infinite uh, but uh, the beginning period is finite that is more than one year right more than one year when it becomes complete one year that becomes the long term so more than one year means 12 months or more than that right 
less than 12 months is in the money market while more than 12 months is the in the capital market so that's the first difference in the capital market long-term financial instruments or financial securities financial instrument and financial securities basically the same thing uh, two words interchange interchangeably used for financial uh, securities or financial instruments so in a capital market only in only long-term financial instruments are issued and traded while on the capital market short-term financial instruments are issued and traded the second feature based on which we can compare or we can find out differentiation between the money market and capital market is the level of uh, level of risk so basically money market instruments there is low risk because of trading short-term securities which have lower level of risk and high liquidity high liquidity means easily convertible into cash and there is low risk so in, in finance we have a we have a quote and it says uh, maximum risk will give you maximum return minimum risk will give you minimum return so basically on the money market we have low risk and due to that we have low return and our financial instruments are very liquid which means we can easily convert into cash without any significant uh, difference in the price or value on the long term uh, uh, capital on the capital market uh, there are long term securities and long term securities uh, are more risky so when there is more risk there is more return more risk results into more return because you wait for longer period of time so as a result you get more result but remember that there is more risk as well okay okay fund suppliers there another feature based on which we can compare the money market and capital market and differentiate from one another they are basically the fund suppliers uh, who are the fund suppliers to money market means who are the buyers of the financial instruments or sellers of the, or, or of the financial instruments on the money market they could be commercial banks non-financial business institutions with access funds means commercial banks basically they purchase the uh, short-term financial instruments they invest in short-term financial instruments and also non-financial businesses business institutions any other business business institution which has access money means extra money and they want to invest in order to get some return uh, uh, for, for short term in short run so those uh, uh, people also invest those companies also invest in the money market and they, they purchase short-term financial instruments okay uh, now let's go ahead and see uh, who are the fund suppliers in the capital market uh, the fund suppliers of the capital market are basically uh, banks uh, central banks right central banks uh, insurance companies pension funds companies uh, who lends a large amount of funds for a longer period of time right and also investment fund companies with big pools of funds for investing so basically on the capital market the financial instruments are for long term and usually they have a high price right so usually banks mean central banks or international banks insurance companies and pension fund companies uh, and they are the fund suppliers uh, to the capital market means they purchase long term financial instruments or they issue long-term financial instruments and they invest their money and that money is uh, large amounts of money big pools of money and for longer period of time they invest their money and then they get return a bigger and higher return uh, for longer period of time right okay number four feature is financial instruments in the money market these are the financial short-term financial instruments then we can, the, the, which are issued and traded number one certificates of deposits number two treasury bills number three commercial paper number four bankers acceptance number five repurchase agreements these are five financial instruments which we call them short-term financial instruments and they are usually issued and traded on the money market right for short-term investment purposes investment vehicles mean investment purposes or investment means 
Okay. On the capital market, uh, long-term financial instruments are in traded and issued. Issued and traded in long-term financial instruments are uh, common stocks, preferred stocks, treasury bonds, municipality bonds, corporate bonds. Right. So these five are basically the long-term financial instruments, and these are the short-term financial instruments. We will discuss one by one all these short-term and long-term financial instruments in our upcoming lecture inshallah i will show you how uh, their specimens and how uh, they are traded on the uh, financial markets and what for what purpose they are traded on the financial market we'll discuss them in details in our upcoming lectures okay number five uh, uh, we have with us is uh, the purpose uh, of raising money the purpose of raising money on the money market is for financing of working capital and current current needs if if you are in need of uh, money for for shorter period of time if you are in need of money for shorter period of time uh, you will have to issue a short-term financial instruments on the money market if you are in need of long-term money and, and bigger amounts of money then you will have to issue uh, uh, long-term financial instruments these ones on the capital market similarly if you want to invest your money you have extra money you have uh, extra funds available with you and you will not need them for short period of time then you can invest them on the short-term financial instruments on the money market if you have bigger amounts of money and you don't need them for longer period of time so you can invest them on the long-term financial instruments on the capital market right they have more risk they have less risk they have more return they have less return right that's what we discussed uh, earlier uh, on the slide okay so that is uh, the differentiation between the uh, short-term financial instruments and long-term financial instruments and also basically between the money market and the capital market right <clears throat> okay now let's go ahead and discuss uh, I, I'll just show you the specimens of the money market instruments and and capital market instruments right okay before discussing this um, so basically there are money market instruments and capital market instruments uh, money market are short-term financial instruments and capital market are long-term financial instruments and these are the money market instruments treasury bills commercial paper repurchase agreements certificate of deposits bankers acceptance and the capital market instruments are treasury notes treasury bonds um, corporate bonds common stock and preferred stock and the, they are discussed one by one here uh, in uh, these slides which we, we will be discussing inshallah in, in our upcoming lectures for the time being i am just showing you the specimens of each short-term and long-term financial instrument this is basically the treasury bill you can see it has a monetary value right and there is a, a maturity period specified and there is agreement between the buyer and seller the seller of this is government of Jamaica and the buyer could be anyone who buys uh, uh, this money you can see there is the issuance date and there is due date if you see it was issued on uh, 27th February 2001 and it will be due or mature on 28th of August 2001 so you can see it's for six months and six months we know that it's less than a year right and uh, the price is here 5 million and take up price is uh, uh, 91,000 dollars 91.55 uh, basically and this treasury bill is for 5 million dollars right and it's issued by the government of Jamaica see it's the promise of the government of Jamaica uh, that after after six months the buyer of this uh, treasury bond will be treasury note will be paid five million dollars now when they sell this bond they may sell it less than five million but after it matures 
the presenter or the buyer of this bond will be paid five million dollars so that's the specimen of the uh, treasury bill now we have commercial paper commercial paper does not have any specific uh, specimen or format it's basically the agreement between the uh, uh, between the uh, credit buyer for example if you um, want to buy something but you don't have money you buy that thing and you instead of paying the amount you issue a commercial paper and that commercial paper starting from one day to 270 days that we will be discussing inshallah in more details in our upcoming lecture then we have certificate uh, certificates of deposits certificate of deposit this is the specimen of certificate of deposit it there is an agreement there is a value there is maturity period right and uh, uh, there is the depo depositor signature and there is the uh, the the company's uh, uh, means it's the, it's the it's the seller of uh, uh, of the uh, it's the buyer of the uh, uh, certificate of deposit and it's the seller of the certificate of de deposit so you can see both parties have signed here there is a specified time period there is specific amount there so all the characteristics of a financial instrument uh, are present on this specimen you can see uh, it's not uh, quite important that everywhere the certificate of deposit could be in this format it could be other format but at least these four or five things should be there number one that there should be a legal agreement between two or more parties and it should be duly signed it should have a monetary value it should have a maturity period right and it's widely accepted and traded on the uh, financial market so that certificate of deposit then we have repurchase agreement repurchase agreement also does not have any specific uh, uh, format it's basically a simple uh, agreement between it could be a simple piece of paper but uh, the criteria of a financial instrument those five characteristics that i earlier discussed should be present there we have bankers acceptance bankers ex acceptance also uh, does not have any specific format uh, it could be in any format it's usually uh, issued by a bank uh, to uh, to facilitate the imp uh, importer and exporter when there is export and import happening so at that time banker accept bankers acceptance uh, bankers acceptance is used in order to facilitate um, the trade to happen between the importer and exporter right this is basically complete cycle how bankers acceptance uh, uh, takes place or pr uh, processes that we will be discussing inshallah in upcoming lecture for the time being i, I was just showing you the specimens of the uh, financial securities next we have uh, capital market securities and and, and capital market instruments or in, in long-term financial instruments we have the treasury bond and uh, treasury notes f first of all and then we have treasury bonds these treasury notes and treasury bonds does not have any specific specimen uh, but uh, they should specifically meet those five crit criteria of the uh, financial security then we have bonds this could be a bond uh, uh, a specimen of a bond it has a you can see monetary value there is um, a maturity period there is all terms and conditions of the agreement discussed there duly signed so th these are the characteristics of the and the five char characteristics of a um, financial security that we have been discussing all of them are present there then we have common stock this could be a uh, specimen for a common stock uh, also common stock also has a monetary value has a maturity period has a there's an agreement between the uh, buyer and seller and everything is available there so those five char criteria meet that's why uh, uh, it's a financial security next we have prefer preferred stock preferred stock could also be in this format uh, uh, but there it's it's instead of common you can see there is written common uh, instead of common they, they'll be written preferred right so the, the format is same only the word common will be replaced by the preferred so these were the specimens of the um, 
short term financial instruments and long term financial instruments or you can say money market instruments and capital market instruments right